<laughs> welcome to my April favorites video. I decided to do this because I feel really bad about uploading my No Makeup Monday videos really late. So, um, and this month has just been kind of awesome. Um, this month, earlier this month, my husband and I celebrated our one year anniversary. Whoop, whoop. So super excited about that. Um, so I'm just gonna jump right in, yeah. Uh, okay, so the very first thing on my monthly favorites is this package that I have not opened yet. Yeah, um, it's just a cute little bookmark that I saw in line. I was checking out <laughs> at Barnes and Noble yesterday, and um, it's a cute little owl, and it says "wise" on the bottom. Can you see that? just super cute and I like the color so I'm just gonna include this because it's cute even though I bought it at the very end of April um, the next thing is also book related a few books um, okay John Green Paper Towns such a great book I was terrified that I was going to not like this book because the fault in our stars made me made me ball like a child and um, I was like great John Green's gonna make me cry again. Actually, no, it's hilarious. It made me like laugh and just, it was just really good. It's a great book and it's like centered in Orlando and so it's kind of cool. Like he was like, oh, we're gonna drive down Colonial and I'm like, oh, I know where that is. It's cool, John Green, very good. Um, the next one is Eleanor and Park. I read this in a day and a half by Robin Rowell. I tweeted her and I was like, you're amazing. And she said, thank you. Such a great book. Um, it's a love story between a, these 16 year olds and set in the 80s, which is awesome. They're like nerds and um, you, you need to read it. It is such a good book. It made me like have the feels of a 16 year old again and like those like in love moments and um you know one of them comes from a really hard life and the other one's sort of sort of privileged not necessarily like super privileged um but just lives a different life and then you see that they kind of move past their differences and accept each other and it's just it really is a great book um the next one is not a favorite yet, but I'm sure it will be, and that is her other book, Attachments, which is, the premise is this work, they're being told that their emails are now going to be monitored, and um, two women, I think, um, think that it's hilarious, and so they start sending, like, very personal, very, like, just, you know, weird emails to each other, since they're going to be monitored, why not just, like, you know, be weird, and the person reading their emails falls in love with one of the girls. So I'm super excited about this book. And it's very short. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to love this book. She's got another one out called Fangirl. Um, which I'm looking into possibly getting. And then she's got one coming out in June or July, I believe, called um, Landlines. Which sounds so cool. And I love books. Alright. Makeup, yeah. Okay. First thing was in my Elf haul video, and this has quickly become one of my favorites, even though I've only had it for about a week. Um, it's the Baked Eyeshadow Palette in NYC. Very beautiful. As you can see, I've used a lot of this color. Um, I've used that a lot on my eyes, just on the lid. And then, yeah, you see Ole Miss? We're from Mississippi. Um, and then I've been using these two colors, this like darker gray and this deep blue. And I've been using that in the crease. I wore this really pretty like white and blue striped dress today. And um, that gray went really well with the blue crease. Super, super cute. So really am loving this NYC palette. Um, I think this was $10 from e.l.f. Really great, awesome colors, super excited. Um, the next products are also from e.l.f. Um, most of them are, except for like two over there. Um, these are also the e.l.f. blushes. Um, this one is in Peachy Keen. And this is just a really like, again, peachy, neutral color. Um, I'm very pale, but I also have like some undertones of yellow and then some pink and red right through here. My skin is very difficult. Um, but I wanted something that was just 
nice color, just a nice pop if I wanted to just do like mascara, eyeliner, and just have like a little bit of like color to my face. So Peachy Keen Elf, I think this was three or five dollars. Super cute, love this. Um, the next one is also a blush by Elf. <laughs> I like I like blushes. This is actually the mineral blush, and this is in Joy. Um, it, this is just a pink color. Let's see if I can do this without spilling. Um, very light pink, um, very buildable, but I, I like this when I have a little bit more makeup on and I want my cheeks to be just a little bit like pinky and not so much like tan or bronze, but just pink. So love this. The next one are, the next ones are actually all four lip products. These are my favorite and they pretty much like all go together. Um, this month has just been like my nude lip, brown nude lip month. I've been obsessed with it. Um, so, okay, so first an e.l.f. product. And this is the e.l.f. Lip Exfoliator. And some people, um, it's either a hit or miss for them. This is a hit for me. Love, love. Um, it is, it's just great. It exfoliates really well. It smells great. Um, I put this on um, when I wake up in the morning and before I go to bed at night and just love it. Um, the next one is a chapstick and of course, or it's a balm actually. Um, of course I love Carmex. That's like an always will be favorite lip product. Just keep Pro Carmex on hand, but my balm is Burt's Bees and this is a tinted lip balm and I got it in Caramel Daisy. And it smells nice. It's like a honey. I don't know. It smells good. But it also, it's a brown color, kind of, with like gold in it. Um, I like it a lot. Again, not too much of a difference, but just enough that it adds a little bit of, um, of course, you can't probably see it on camera, but really glossy. I love that. Um, this is the new line or new-ish line from Maybelline called In the Buffs and this is the 930 Truffle Tees and this is just a brown color um, and I love this color. This is, I pretty much wear this out every time I go out um, and that is Truffle Tees again, Maybelline. The next product was actually one that in my e.l.f. haul I told you that I didn't like and I didn't like it because when I put it on my hand it was sticky and gooey and tacky but I ended up grabbing it on accident today when I um, was doing my lipstick and I usually just put that chapstick over it or that lip balm over it so it's a little bit glossy. Well I grabbed this one because um, they're like real close in color and so I was like let me just let me just try it it's not it's not sticky on my lips I don't know why it's sticky on my um hand but it's not sticky on my lips and this is the gloss and this is the lipstick and they're so close in color that the gloss goes really well over the top of the lipstick and I absolutely love it I, um, it's just a great way to finish so I can put that on and then leave the house with, and just take this with me. Super, super like it. Um, last two things are jewelry pieces and these are just cocktail rings or accent rings. I love this black one. I rewatched The Office and Catherine Tate, of course, is in it and she is always wearing a huge ring on her, like, index finger and I was like, oh, I need one of those. So I went out and Char, Charming Charlie? No, Charlotte Roos. Charlotte Roos was having a sale and it was like two pieces of jewelry for $10 like all over and I was like oh my god rings so I got this really cute sparkly like triangle probably Illuminati everyone probably thinks that because that's the thing and then the next one is just a black silver I mean a black gold circle um I really love this I wear it everywhere um, obsessed. So those are my April favorites. I don't really have anything that I hate. So that's a plus. Um, but yeah, I'm really sorry that my videos have been late because I just, I just, it's been spring break here for us. So <laughs> sorry. Um, but I hope you guys have a great April and 
um, subscribe and um, follow me on all of my things, all of my social media sites. Um, I try to update my blog at least once a week. I've been a little bit better about that. I took a while off, but now I'm getting better. <laughs> so um, I am pretty regular about that. Um, but yeah, follow me and I'd love to talk. So thanks y'all. Bye.